Today the Boathouse here at Disney Springs is debuting a brand new lunch with a dueling pianos, jelly rolls type of situation and I am already running late so let's hop to it. I can already hear the music playing and I've got friends inside waiting for me. I've joined my friends and I dove right into eating. There's food at the table and speaking of diving, we're sitting in a boat and we got Promise and Travis here. <laughs> so we're all debating are these hats, are our hats captain hats? This is the captain hat. I say I'm it is. I'm the captain now. You are? <laughs> and Nate? Captain. You definitely have a captain <laughs> And I am the captain of the SS Small World, so... Uh, what do you do when you have a boat full of captains? You just enjoy your brunch. This is the brand new captain's brunch debuting today here at Boathouse. We are getting to sample all sorts of food and drinks here. Starting off here with the fried chicken, biscuit, and gravy. These are the special brunch drinks, and I'm starting off with an orange crush. This is Stoli Orange, Salerno, orange juice, and soda. It's light and bubbly, and it's a perfect, like, adult orange juice for brunch. They're playing Nate's song. So it's a dueling piano situation. You can request songs. Everybody sings along. It's a really good atmosphere. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The biscuit underneath is amazing. The eggs are perfect. The gravy is amazing. The chicken. This is like top tier, next level brunch situation. I got friends <laughs> in low places. Chicken bone. <laughs> I mean, we're not in a sailboat, but you know, close enough. It works. Cheers. Ooh. Here, have a sip. This is the Bloody Mary. It's huge. Let's give it a go. It's perfect. It's perfect. American, where at least I know I'm free. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Next up here we've got the avocado toast. This is multi-green toast, avocado, tomato, pickled, red onions, feta cheese, and two eggs, any style. Everything delicious. The next three items we have here. Let's see, we've got the jumbo lump crab cakes, Benedict, twin crab cakes, prosciutto, ham, poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, and grilled asparagus. Then we've got shrimp and grits here. And these are spicy cheddar, beer cheese, grits, shrimp, and dually sausage, two eggs, any style. And then here we have the lakeside breakfast. This is two eggs, any style. Choice of bacon or smoked sausage, home fries, and ciabatta toast. Is that it? Ciabatta? Ciabatta. Ciabatta. You gotta. All right, so we had Nate's song, right? And now we've got Travis's song. We got some good vibrations. Good vibrations. Also, I'm gonna eat the uh, olives. Serious good vibrations from these taters. The sausage is delicious, really savory, really tasty, right? Everybody loves it. We're gonna cut into them grits. Here we go. Good job, Nate. Beautiful.
Next up, I'm gonna try the Paramosa. This is Koperberg Pear Cider White Peach Puree. Very simple. The pear drink is delicious. It's just very, very simple. Just pear and like bubbly and it's, it's perfect. It's so, so good. You can pair it with anything and it's practically perfect. I'm gonna try the crab cake now. I skipped the poached eggs on top, but I am trying the crab cake. The crab cake is good. It's totally solid. It's a really interesting breakfast. And I, I gotta try the asparagus, so I didn't try any of that. You know what? Who doesn't like asparagus? Yummy. The smoked salmon on a bagel has arrived. This one is definitely my jam, you guys. I am like the smoked salmon person. And then the steak and eggs, which I feel like that's Nate's jam, right? That's all of our jam. The fried chicken is already one. You're right. I mean, you're right. The fried chicken so far has been my favorite too. What about you guys so far? So I am so, such a boring, basic girl. I love the avocado toast. Stop there was something good. so super fresh, but I like a little carne asada. Yeah, well. yeah. So can get in my belly. Yeah, I think we're all psyched about the next two dishes. I like the copious amount of capers, right? Very copious. Yeah, nice thick layer of cream cheese. So Promise and I are splitting this. It was hard to solve. Yeah, cream cheese is really good. The cream cheese is a thick layer. So the dudes aren't going in on this, so we got this to ourselves. Cheers. Cheers. Salmon cheers. We have got our espresso martinis coming. Thank you so much, sir. It's got coffee beans on top. Wow. All right, let's try some of this steak. It looks juicy and delicious and perfect. Got the ultimate sing-along going on right now. Steak time. We got cheers again. <laughs> it's a lot going on. I actually think the strawberry was my favorite. Did I say that already? The strawberry was my favorite. Let's try this coffee. like it's gonna be really strong but it tastes really light and sweet but like it's good if you've got a birthday or a celebration a brunch here is the perfect place to do it and you can get a nice happy birthday song want to take a moment to appreciate this awesome boat we're sitting in so it does say cast members only on this paddle I can't get up in to this cabin area but I really really want to it's so beautiful and classy Wow but we are like in the boat but in the back we're the passengers full speed ahead captain thank you the Duck Duck Raz is the drink that the boathouse is famous for with the floating rubber ducky. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted one. I've never tried one. It's a balancing act. This drink is a balancing act. Cheers to the duck. Quack, 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 qu
more of like a jacuzzi tub. It's a jacuzzi tub for my duck. <laughs> this drink is delicious. He's sinking. Oh no. Oh no, he's sinking? What's the smell? That ducky. <laughs> the ducky. I love it. Delicious? Both of them are like nodding profusely. Of all the items we tried, I think the fried chicken, biscuit, and gravy was my favorite. I really liked the mix of flavors. I'm a big onion fan and I thought the gravy was really good. My favorite of the drinks was definitely the strawberry splash. It was sweet but not too sweet. And I like the way they used cider instead of champagne or bubbly. I actually think it tasted better that way. All in all, I tend to focus more on the full dining experience, the theming and atmosphere, and it was definitely an A plus for all of that. It's a really fun way to spend brunch and the full regular menu is available. So if you want items not part of the brunch, you can definitely get that. So I'd say this was a lot of fun, a great new addition to Boathouse and Disney Springs. And all in all, I'd recommend it. At 2 p.m., brunch is over. But we're gonna head back out into Disney Springs and keep having a little bit more fun. We're all done with an amazing brunch. Everything was really, really good. All the food, all the drinks, the service at Boathouse is always impeccable. Everyone who works here, I feel like they take pride in what they do. They care about what they do and they care about the guest experience. And with the addition of the dueling pianos, I mean, Jelly Rolls is an institution in and of itself, but it has not reopened. There is no Jelly Rolls right now at the moment. But thankfully, the Boathouse has brought on the Jelly Rolls piano players to do that dueling piano thing where you can put in requests of course, make sure you tip the pianist when you put in those requests. It's all sing-alongs. It's all songs that are like crowd-pleasers. Everybody loves, so the food is crowd-pleasers. The songs are crowd-pleasers. The drinks are definitely crowd-pleasers. So I would say that is the trifecta of a perfect brunch here in Orlando. We're heading back out into Disney Springs. It is a very, very crowded day today. <laughs> that Disney Springs is the most crowded city than I have seen it in a very, very long time. But we put ourselves down for the Gideon's virtual queue before we went to brunch, so I think it's our time. I talked a little bit about the Gideon's Bakehouse backstory in a previous video, and I'll talk a little bit more about it now, but we've got a hustle to get in that line. I'm really excited for that February cookie. I hope they have more. Here we go, into Gideon's. I, once again, if you want to see a more detailed video, I do have one up on my channel, but I'm really excited to be in here. I'm so excited. Can you already smell it? Can you already smell it? Last time I was in here, I purchased one of their candles. Oh my gosh, look how dark it is. As soon as that door closes behind you, it's like dark golden goodness. I purchased one of their candles and I still have it. And I burn it really slowly because it's the best smelling candle I've ever had in my life. So the candle from here, from Gideon's, smells better than any candle I've ever gotten from like Bed Bath & Beyond, like any candle store ever. And it still smells amazing. I'm gonna buy another today. The whole dark aesthetic, you kind of get rushed through, which is my only complaint. But that's only because the demand is so high for this place. But the goth aesthetic, the whole Victorian thing that they've got going, the whole story, the flickering candles, is everything. Ugh, it's just everything. Look at the door. Look at the door. Let me let people in. Oh, bye. It's really hard to capture how amazing this place is with how quickly you have to walk through. It just touches my like goth little heart. Hello. Um, may, do you still have the February cookie? Yeah. Oh, may I please have one of those? And then also, I will take a candle. Do you have different shirts? So I have the gargoyle shirt. Yeah, so we have the black hat, the bag of flowers, the gargoyle one you mentioned. Uh, we have only smalls in this. I'll take the cat one if, oh, if you have that. And then um, in a medium, please. Yeah. 
thank you. And then I'll take one of these, please. I love, I love everything. I just love it all. It's so cute. They have several different flavors. I am getting the February cookie, the Valentine's cookie that they still have for a very limited time. It's a delicious cookie. I had it recently and it was like the best cookie I've ever had. So I'm getting it. I got cookie, I got shirt, I got cookie. <laughs> Thank you. I left a tip, you can leave one on. Your credit card receipt and then I got it sent to me via text. You can get your receipt via text or email. It's just so cool. The music, the vibe, the lighting, the backstory. I just love it. The February cookie that I purchased, the Eternal Flame. I actually got this in my last video that I showed Gideon's, which was my first time ever at Gideon's. And it's kind of like a red hot with dark chocolate. It is a delicious with like salt. Like sea salt, red hot, and dark chocolate. If you can imagine that. So, so good. They've got the fire effect turned off here. Where's, oh, there's a little bit of the fire. Last time I was here though, the fire was intense. They have like a backstory that they found the journal of the previous owner of this building in the wall. And I tell the story in my previous video. So if you want to hear the story, you can check that out. Oh, here's a little bit of the fire. Thank you. Back out to the light. Thank you. Nate, you got one of their masks. Fancy. It's a beautiful design. It's from the gargoyle. Look at the, I got another shirt. So this is my second shirt from Gideon's. I got the gargoyle. I like and it. now I have the cat. Look at you, what a show model they are. <laughs> I also purchased a second candle. Oh, it's so good. And I have been kind of conserving the one candle that I do have because I didn't want it to run out, but now I have another. Gideon's Big House opened at Disney Springs in December of 2020 and there was a lot of hype and there still is a lot of hype for their massive cookies. They're huge and they're full of deliciousness and they do have another location in Orlando. This is their February 2021 exclusive Eternal Flame cookie. Velvety five flavor chocolate cookie laced with special house made ancho, cayenne, and cinnamon spice mix topped with chocolate covered cherries. It's a deep chocolate flavor followed by the tingling warmth of a first kiss and sweet aftertaste of cherries. This cookie I tried recently. I'm just gonna say it, it was the best cookie I've ever had. So I got another one. Mm. Basically, brunch is supposed to be a perfect combination of breakfast and lunch, hence brunch. And I think they nailed it at Boathouse with the items that they chose for their special brunch menu. This is all brand new and it debuted today, so if you want to check it out, check out the Boathouse website, the Disney Springs website, to make sure you have the appropriate hours and times. There is a reason the Boathouse is as popular as it is. So, I am going to head out of here. I have a ride home and I actually have a sofa, a brand new sofa, coming to my apartment today, so I'm going to get home get my sofa set up, get comfy. I'm doing like a Marvel movie marathon to catch up so that I can watch WandaVision. I've seen several of them, but like I'm watching the whole thing in order whether I've watched them or not. Rewatching the ones that I've seen and watching the ones I haven't seen in chronological order by story. And that's all on Disney Plus, like not chronological order by their release date of the films, but by like the storylines. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home and watch, keep watching. Hopefully I'll be able to watch WandaVision sometime this year or century, but either way, I'm excited to do that. And I'm just excited for a new sofa. And I had a ton of fun today here at Disney Springs. Thank you to my friends who joined me today. Nate paging Mr. Morrow, Promise Hope, Travis, all awesome friends that I love so much. And I'm sending you all a ton of love out there. I actually have a ton of really fun stuff coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you all again so, so, so much. I'll see you for the next video. Until then, as always, stay enthusiastic.